I want to show you this teapot I acquired today. It is silver, I believe, silver plate over copper. Um, I might be mistaken on that, but I believe that's what it is. It is a very ornate, very pretty, not extremely valuable, probably 1910, 1914 era. Um, it has no hallmark, but on the bottom, I don't know if you can see that or not, probably not. But it's a CO, CMO company, uh, B R E F, an anchor in a shield, and 07902. And um, it's going to take some work to get it to shine up in that. But I purchased today also this black, or yeah, black, blue magic, excuse me, metal polish that I hope is going to do a good job. And I tried an area on the back here, and it uh, definitely is much improved. So this is, consider this the before image, and I'm going to do an after image after I get all done with trying to polish it and everything. It has a neat little crust on here, but it's slightly worn, so I can't exactly tell what that is, other than a crust. Um, uh, a picker that I often acquire pieces from here in Saginaw. Um, I acquired this from him today for five bucks, and um, I think it was a good purchase. It was allegedly found here in Saginaw. He claimed it was used in a local hotel here. I can't prove that, just speculation. But again, after I get done polishing it up, I'll complete this video and let you take a look. Okay, this is the next day, and I've used the Blue Magic on on, uh, on here, and it's done a really good job, and it would have done a better job, except I like to do as little work as possible. It's hard to get into little cracks and stuff. So, I went on YouTube, and I found a guy that claims that you can take a bowl, table salt, as they, as they pronounce it over in England, um, alum, al aluminium foil, <laughs> baking soda, and warm water. And it will clean all this off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat this bowl with aluminum foil, put in the water, uh, put in the salt, put in the baking soda, and then stir it up and submerse this in there. Now, he claimed in the video that you have to actually have your skin in touch with the silver for this to work. Now, he used a glass bowl. I don't know if it's going to make a difference that I'm using a plastic one. If it does not work, then I will try this with a, a glass bowl, if I can find one big enough here, because I don't rightly know that I have one. But, um, okay, I'll get back with you a little bit later on. Well, I guess it may have helped a little bit. I had put it in the solution there for about 10 minutes. Um, yeah, it's shiny, but there's still a lot of um, tarnish that I'm going to have to work at to get off. But uh, we'll see. It, it helped. Definitely helped. But not as good as the guy in the video said. So maybe I did need a glass dish. I don't know. Um, when I was buying the products over at Dollar General around the corner from me or down the road from me, the guy in there said, don't go through all that trouble, just get a two liter of Coke. But I don't want to ruin the silver either. <laughs> so, all right, anyways, I'll get back with you as I work on this project. Well, here we are. This is as far as I'm going with this piece. I may do a little bit of touch up work on it, but not a whole lot. I found out some interesting things about it. First off, the crest here is a uh, an applique and it was created separate from the piece and then applied to it later. But also on the base, among other things, in an anchor, in a, it's an anchor and a crest, which represents the English town of Birmingham, where assay office was located, where the item was presented to be uh, verified. Now there's also a BP um, on the bottom. And this stands for, from what I understand, British plate, also known as improved German silver, or nickel silver, which is a copper alloy with nickel and often zinc. Nickel silver is named for its silvery appearance, but has no elemental silver unless it is plated. So this piece may actually have no silver in it at all. Don't really care, it's, it's beautiful and it's old. German silver refers to the development by 19th century German metal workers in imitation to a Chinese alloy known as Pak Tong or Kupronickel. Kind of like 
pumpernickel. Ah, not, not really. Anyways, um, it is a pretty piece. It's, see, I do, I will do some more cleaning on it, but not a whole lot. Um, I cannot really accurately date it, although I suspect it's from about 1900 to 1920 era. And uh, I'm, I'm glad to have it in my collection. And it probably values around 15 to $20. So that's what I know about it. That's, uh, wanted to, you know, show you how it cleaned up. Have a great day. God bless.